There's mutiny in the ranks of the cleaners. Nick's contract is under threat. Can't take it, Lynn. And therefore, I've got to get rid of her. The Dream Team is also under attack, this time from park boss Colin. Now they've got some tough decisions to make. It is pointless being here. So do we call it a day? I think if things aren't going to change, then yeah, we've got to call it a day. And without enough entrance, the glamorous granny competition may also have to call it a day. If Any I fear? wanted to enter a glamorous granny competition, I would have got a caravan at Sheffield. The holy grail for millionaire park owner Colin Saunders is keeping his park looking tip-top. He's often up at 5am hoeing. Ah. Trouble is, the grail's not the only thing that's holy. Right, these are not holding. That's so I'm going to... I've tried to get... I told one to get me a, a pair of trainers, size 12, and she came back and said they don't make them. Well, my feet aren't... You know, that's, uh, that's big. So perhaps they're not size 12s. I'll have to go myself. <clears throat> go to Canterbury. I buy uh, another pair of trainers. I buy some shirts and a pair of trousers as well. So I start looking smart for a change. Winning the contract to keep the park looking smart has given Nick Croydon a taste for big business. He originally bought the rolls just to ferry cleaning materials around the park after Colin banned his van for being too vulgar. But now he's got ideas of expansion into the bridal business. Uh, yeah, we're going to the florist where uh, we, me and, when me and Ali got married, we got the um, flowers from this shop and they do bridal wear and hire and all that sort of thing. And I've had some flowers made up by Jenny, um, a silk, uh, made out of silk. They're white orchids and white roses, and they're calling it the uh, Diana Rose, the white rose for Princess Diana. Back at the park, there's great excitement about tonight's glamorous granny competition. Colin, that's what I've come in for about the glamorous grand. Can you give me some details? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Um, Thank you, sir. Who's uh, uh, Glamour's Granny? Uh, uh, Jane, isn't she? Yes. Yeah. Is it, when's it starting? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Uh, is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Right. And um, it'll be a bit of fun. I'll show you the sash. Let me show you the sash. <laughs> is that all I'm going to get if I win? And what else? a luncheon yes. on board fabulous fox hunter. And who's co-hosting that? There's only one, that's me. Will you vote for me? I, if I'm going to vote, if I'm going to vote, it would not be fair. Yeah, let's do it on that one then. Although the season is now well underway, the sales dream team Phil and Ron have yet to impress Colin with their sales figures. From years of experience, they know they need a sales drive backed by a promotional leaflet. But Colin's not impressed. Ah, oh, um, this, uh, this latest thing you got, I, you know, is, is all right. I don't want to sort of put the mockers on or anything or, or, be, or be unappreciative of their efforts, but I know some of these things, and well, actually we've only got one tennis court, that, and licensed family club, that sort of thing. I don't, it doesn't sound... What would you rather say? Well, that? I wouldn't rather, you know, I don't know if I want to say anything. He's already got it, it's all in the brochure, but yeah. uh, um, if you've got to say something, Sumptuous club is the yeah. is the word we use, not nice family. Everyone, nice family. You're more, you're more imaginative than that. Yeah, so I'll go with sumptuous. That. Yeah, it's not really a health club, health and beauty club. Health mm -hmm. and beauty club really is more uh, is more. See, we're exotic. Here. We're exotic, not exotic, but we're mm -hmm. stages ahead of the competition. It's not for me to say that, <laughs> but it's you know. It, I mean, it, 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 that personally doesn't really do a lot for me. It doesn't no. sort of project the image that we're trying to project, That's and what I've what I've taken the years to. Uh, this this is no ordinary place. You no. see, this is and that's, a, that, that's an ordinary list of things that every rotten caravan park in the country's got. The organisers of the glamorous granny competition have hit a snag. Unimpressed with the prize of a day out on Colin's yacht, only one granny has entered. If they can't do better, Jane's threatening to call it off. See if you can get at least six together and then we're in business, aren't we? Check on these that I've yeah. got them down and yeah. come back and let you know. Yeah, good luck. There's a lovely first prize of a nice boat trip. You've seen the Titanic, haven't you? <laughs> we know the industry. We know that caravans come with toilets that flush. 
they come with running water, that they come with rubbish waste facilities. But people don't know that. If they come to the holiday park for the first time, they haven't got a clue that caravans offer that. Uh, refuse collection, uh, fresh water supply, I mean, those things have gone about 30 years out of date. I mean, they, we, you see, they, they have worked for Haven Holidays. And, and, um, and they uh, have a different um, approach. In actual fact, they make money. Um, but uh, they have a different approach, and it's a, it's a mass, mass catering, and we're not into this mass thing. And, and the, the people that buy caravans off, off parks like as they run would be sort of more um, everyday sort of people. Nick's arrived to pick up his flowers and to drop off a framed picture of his beloved roller. So Doesn't that look lovely? We live on Cotter. He hopes the calls will start flooding in and soon his motor will be full of taffeta and lace rather than j cloths and vim. Might need a little dust. Are you going to do this, Grandma's Grandma? Well, I'm not getting another yes, choice actually yes. because I'm really being told by everybody that I've got to. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I don't you. want to. Oh, Angela. I don't want to. Oh, of course you do. Yeah, I think I've got she so should. much pressure. Boy, He's told me that I'm going to get thrown off the site if I don't go in for it. He said, Mr. Saunders <laughs> said that if I don't go in for it, I'm going to, he's going to throw me off the site. And these are my flowers you've done There's me, are they? Oh, for aren't your they little beautiful? Car. Diana roses, isn't it? With the white lilies? Yes. Absolutely is. beautiful. It should fit. And what about the white ribbon I need to go on the car? On the actual car. That'll do your front ribbon. You start at the visor. Go down onto the... Tight onto the sun visor. Yeah, down onto the front, onto the lady or onto the bumper, wherever you're lady. going to put it. Yeah. And then take it back to the other one. You can the other visor. That while I make the bow. And where do the bows go? The bow goes on the front of the... Lady. Are you using the lady or the bumper? I might use, I don't know. You don't have to accept the prize. <laughs> <laughs> I could we be made... Honestly, we will, we will sort of like... Forfeit the prize, you don't have to accept the prize, just no, accept the sash. <laughs> no, no, I don't worry. Meanwhile, fabulous fox hunter's millionaire owner Colin has arrived in Canterbury in search of new trainers and a smart new image. Trouble is, if he's not spending money on his park, he'd rather not spend it at all. These are fine, I should think. Oh, they're too short, aren't they? Too short. Oh, that's uh, oh, too small. Does that even fit? Go the blue trousers I couldn't buy. <laughs> How many do I have to buy to get a little consideration on the price, if you know what I mean, without being too vulgar? Uh, well, the only way you would get a consideration on the price is if you opened an account. A few streets away, Nick is also on a shopping spree. It's not enough for the car to look the part. He needs a makeover too. Hello there, sir. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. And yourself? You're not too bad. So actually, what we're actually looking for is a, a, a chauffeur's hat, and we understand that you might stop them. Whilst Nick is thinking about weddings, his prize cleaners Lynn and Sandy have started talking divorce. They're considering leaving Nick and setting up their very own cleaning firm in competition. So Lynn, what's happened with Nick since the argument last week? Well, obviously, um, we had what we call a mummy's meeting. And obviously Nick said what he wanted to. We didn't really get a chance to say what we wanted to, but we did say to him things had got to change. We wasn't going to be treated like prize idiots any longer. Um, and he's basically given us a pay increase, if you can call it that. How much money? <laughs> 50p! <laughs> Enough to get a loaf of bread with, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Here comes a hat. Yes, here's the uh, chauffeur's hat. Oh, that's lovely. In stock, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, hope Very you're nice. wanting a grey one. It is the well, only colour the... we actually have in stock. So yes, that'll right. be, that is the colour actually we want, because we've all got the grey suits to go ah, oh, well, then to go with it. Very appropriate then. It's got the, mm. the uh, thing on so, top. Yes, that's the cockade on And that's front, a seven yeah. and a quarter. Actually, that's yes. my size. Might well, I did size you up when you came in. Oh, did you now? Oh, right. I see. Oh, yes, you're quite right. That's that point, I think, doesn't it? Yes, you're a very good judge of uh, well, things. Yes. Doing <laughs> that solves that then, yeah. I'll take that. Okay. And the other thing I require is, uh, have you got any black gloves? Well, yes, through this. Obviously, our reputation has gone before us. And uh, 
Sandy and I were looking for something to do in the winter because obviously once this contract closes for the season we'd be out of work basically and we've been handed a contract to do for ourselves so we may see how it goes and perhaps go out on our own. Um, this one obviously has come out of the blue, we haven't done anything for it. Um, we've just been told, can you please come and see us with regard pricing up to do this work? So that's what we're doing. Well, we're going there today, actually, after we've finished here, so who knows? Did that maybe we'll be as big as Nick one day. <laughs> and will you be approaching Mr Saunders about the Fox Hunter contract? Uh, I don't see why not. I don't see why we shouldn't. But I wouldn't want to take it out of somebody else's hands, but if it's offered to us, then yeah, too right, we take it. We haven't got these just in black, it's got the red on it, has I it? I regret we haven't at the moment, no. I don't know, they have a part no. too. Hmm, we haven't for those. Those are 30 pounds. So with the hat, will we get a little discount or not, do you think? <laughs> With his size 12 feet, Colin is even having trouble finding trainers to fit. The store has just two pairs to choose from, but happily the salesman makes the decision fabulously easy. That was on, on sale at the moment, that one. Is it? Yeah. On sale? On sale, yeah. It's usually oh, well, wow. that's the one I'm going to have. It's £10 off those. Yeah, £10 off? Yep. That's one. I'll have two pairs. You have two pairs. You have two pairs? I haven't, that's the final pair. I've only got one pair? Yeah, I'm sold out of all Don't the others. Don't just keep stuff in. I've got more stuff in. We we just right. Everywhere I go, they've only got one shirt and one yeah. pair of trousers and one very pair of shoes. Time at the Strange, isn't it? Uh -huh. okay. not, going, not going up the shoot, shoot are you? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Well, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. A bargain at last. And they almost fit. Fox Hunter is no ordinary caravan park. Owner Colin is a perfectionist and prides himself on things being just so. He's asked the local pet shop owner, Ali, to find him budgies for his aviary. But not just any old budgies. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, Mr. Sandoz, he wants pure yellow, Lutina budgie. And those, I can get it, but it will take maybe a few weeks. There are plenty of budgie around, but it's a mixed color. I am sure if Mr. Sandoz is coming, he won't be happy with me. What do I see there, Ali? You won't be very happy with me, Mr. Sandoz. No, I'm not very happy with you, Ali. Yes, I am very sorry, Mr. Sandoz. I could manage to get you a few pure lutina. But, but we've got yellow ones, haven't yes, we? Yes, we have got we some. We just have the yellow ones, and the other ones, we could let them go, no couldn't we? No problem, Mr. Sandoz. They'll go free. No, Mr. Sandoz, no, no problems, Mr. Sandoz. As you've got a lot of visitors, I can leave them to be here just for the temporary, when I, until when I replace them for you. Okay, you'll okay. never fight. You'll never catch him, Ali. We can have. We'll just have the two yellow ones, no and, then, and then we can fill it with yellow budges, and, and it'll be okay. quite lovely. And okay, Mr. Saunders. If Any I fear? wanted to enter a glamorous granny competition, I would have got a caravan at Sheppey. <laughs> Take that as a no, then. <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like the glamorous granny competition might have to be cancelled due to lack of interest. Spots Jane. She says, unless we can get. Would be glamorous grands are going to be disappointed. Like knocking it out. Debbie, look at these, look. Funny. Debbie, look, I've got these for Mum as well to put on her hands. Look at them hands. <laughs> these are no, the worst. I can't say nothing, they're, well, they're much better than them. Unable to find any customers, Phil's at the end of his tether. Ron is giving it one last try. You add the lot together oh, on God. something that you test in the world. <laughs> You're only about three fifty a month. Mm. We'd well, probably spend oh, yes. more than that yeah, uh -huh. right. on a two-week holiday somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. cost-effective. <laughs> it's cracking good value. Uh -huh. Tell you what, we'll have a run down another weekend. I think because so. Because we're a bit pushed for time at the moment. Oh, you that's see. a shame. At the aviary, it's time to release the two yellow budgies. The first non-flying budgie. Would you like Mr. Sandoz or just release them until tomorrow I come to collect them? It's very nice. Oh, no. no. How much each are they? Well, I'm not charging you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not selling. This one, I just release them. Well, I will come to collect them. It's very nice. Yes, please. Once to go my way, please. Well, I, I, as long as you do, because I shan't... I should, I, no, I won't leave it. I promise. No, won't. I won't leave well, it you here. Let them go I just like, go yes, let them let go, go here. Yeah. 
I am glad. <laughs> He's a very persuasive little rascal, is Ali. He's a very persuasive one. Look, he thinks he's made another sale, you see. He thinks I'm going to fall in love with those buddies. Hi, darling. Got your wig and your dress ready for tonight. Hi. <laughs> for the grandma's grandmother. We well, need I wouldn't fit in for that, would I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, I'll lend you a nice blonde wig. Oh, really? And a dress and, and, a, dress and a stilettos <laughs> as well. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't know if any one on site, do you? What for? Glam Glamorous grandmother. Glamorous grandmother. That we've missed. No. No, but if I. Yeah, if you have a wander around and you see anybody, around, I'll and see I haven't sort of like collared them, can you? All right, yeah. Sort of like come and shout at me and just go, Debbie, I found one. Yeah, all right. Glamorous <laughs> grandmother. Love, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, I'll let Cheers, you know. Cheers, my darling. Okay, nice prize. Oh, nice prize. Oh, oh yeah. excellent prize. See First later, class. Bro. See you later, Nick. Cheers. Bye, Fabulous prize. Fabulous. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> But Nick's got other things on his mind. He's got wind of an attempt by one of his cleaners to stage a takeover bid for his contract at Fox Hunter. And he's not a happy bunny. Lynn, what I want to talk to you about tonight is, I've got something playing on my mind. When we first started, everything was happy and we was all, everything was fine. Mm. And then slowly things have changed. Your attitude has changed. My attitude we has just changed. About it. Yeah. The main thing that's been on my mind lately is something I don't think you know about. What's that? Sandy's gone to Jane and talked to her about my contract and how she can run it and how she can do it. I can't accept that. Yeah, well, we've both done that. We've both said, you know, about all, we're running the con, we're running it now. But so, you, you have know? not gone over the yellow brick road and gone and spoke to someone about having my contract that oh, I've worked no. out for. No. I've worked my guts out here. I've organised a lot of things. I've mm. spent out a lot of money. Machines, Ubers, you girls having a laugh. That's changed. And the reason why she's changed and been so nasty is is because in her gut feeling, she feels she should have this contract and not me. I am just no. as guilty. And it was actually put to me by somebody that, you know, if Nick was to suddenly go, would you and Sandy still stay on? You know, and I said yes. Yeah, the, the, I wouldn't it, leave him in the lurch. No. I'm loyal to you, well, but I'm also who's, loyal who's to Who's suggesting that I'm going? Well, nobody's suggesting you're going, but no. they've seen you and Mr. Saunders bicker, bicker, yeah. bicker. Yeah, but that's no problem. You know? Yeah. I like Sandy, and I like you, but I can't tolerate somebody doing that. can't take it, Lynn. And therefore, I've got to get rid of her. I've got to. Sandy goes, so do I, Nick. I know. She's my friend, yeah. we're a team, and I don't want to work with anybody else. Glamorous grandmother competition. Yeah. Oh, it's not our, not our grandma. <laughs> we. <laughs> tonight. Eight no, Sunday, dear, Sunday. Sunday. That's tonight. No, tonight. At eight o'clock. Can I put you down for it? Okay. Oh, oh, I love you. Oh, I do love you. Oh, thank I you, you, sweetheart. I know you do. <laughs> but you won't hate me for very long, I promise. <laughs> In just two hours, the Glamour's granny competition is due to start, but Peter and Debbie haven't been able to find Jane's required six contestants. Do you think we've got enough with five, if that's what we end up with? I'm just a, a first well, place. Well, I suppose, I suppose we could do it with five, do you think? Well, I've got, I've, I'll be honest with you, yeah. I've got Rita down there panicking like mad, going, oh, no, I've got a new dress. And I know, she showed me her new <laughs> dress. It's lovely, yes. And she was really panicking. I mean, we could do it with five and just literally just have a first place. No, I've got to go home now and sit down and seriously think about things. But obviously it's going to make it hard for me because I don't want to appear disloyal to Nick any more than I'd want to appear disloyal to Sandy. Sandy's a very good friend of hers, so I understand if she's going to walk with her then they walk together. But um, I've worked too hard for this. So someone sneaky go behind my back like that. No, it's not happening. So, bye bye. The competition is now just minutes away. Ma, you best hurry up. Having bought a new dress especially for the occasion, Rita is determined she will be crowned oh, Fox Hunter oh, Glamorous oh, Granny, oh, 1998. Look at her, she look posh, come here. Mm, why you look gorgeous. 
There's one last minute entry and the pressure is mounting. Rita now has five other grannies to beat. Give the round of applause as they come in. After another unsuccessful day, the Dream Team has had enough of working under Colin's constraints. They want us to produce results over and above the ones that we committed to without any extra support. Now, I know that you, you haven't been yourself for the last two weeks. You're fed up working here, aren't you? I'm reasons. fed up working here, but I'm not fed up of here. Mm -hmm. If I'm not enjoying it, it's pointless mm -hmm. being here. We're not enjoying it, are we? No. And I don't think our reputation is going to be done any good at all. No. So if we speak to Colin on the basis that they either adapt, we don't want them to make massive changes, just no. adapt to things we know work. If they don't adapt or don't agree to adapt, then we go. See, I'm, 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 the, I'm the governor. I do exactly what I want, you know. I don't, I'm not used to really being told what to do. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being as nasty or silly, or, but I mean, I, I, if I don't feel well, I mean, I work if I'm half dead. Uh, I always have done. They don't stop for colds and flu like all the other bloody sissies in this world. So do we call it a day? I think if things aren't going to change, then yeah, we, we've got to call it a day. And so the Dream Team's dream is over. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we've reached a result. Uh, we have uh, totaled up all the scores. We have a winner. If we can have the contestants back to the dance floor, please, that would be very nice. Thank you very much. OK, well, I can tell you it was very, very close, very close. But in second place, please put your hands together and give a fantastic round of applause to Bev. <laughs> please put your hands together, it's not easy. And in first place, please put your hands together for the lovely Rita. Well done. I've got the champagne for you, Rick. Yes, give it up. And of course, in addition to that, you've got a lovely day out on Fabulous Fox 102. And Mr. Saunders is your host. And the champagne and lots of lunch. Can I take a bow? Give him a twirl.